In mathematics, the Calabi conjecture was a conjecture about the existence of certain nice Riemannian metrics on certain complex manifolds, made by Eugenio Calabi (1954–1957) and proved by Xing Tung Yao (1977–1978). Yao received the Fields Medal in 1982 in part for this proof. The Calabi conjecture states that a compact collar manifold has a unique collar metric in the same class whose Ricci form is any given two form representing the first Chern class. In particular, if the first Chern class vanishes, there is a unique collar metric in the same class with vanishing Ricci curvature. These are called Calabi Yao manifolds. More formally, the Calabi conjecture states. If M is a compact collar manifold with collar metric G, display style G, and collar form omega, display style omega, and R is any one one form representing the manifold's first Chern class, then there exists a unique collar metric G tilde, display style tilde G, on M with collar form. Omega tilde display style tilde omega such that omega display style omega and omega tilde display style tilde omega represent the same class in cohomology H two M R and the Ricci form of omega tilde display style tilde omega is R the Calabi conjecture is closely related to the question of which collar manifolds have collar Einstein metrics. Topic: <laughs> Collar Einstein metrics. A conjecture closely related to the Calabi conjecture states that if a compact collar variety has a negative, zero, or positive first Chern class then it has a collar Einstein metric in the same class as its collar metric, unique up to rescaling. This was proved for negative first Chern classes independently by Thierry Aubin and Xing Tung Yao in 1976. When the Chern class is zero it was proved by Yao as an easy consequence of the Calabi conjecture. It was disproved for positive first Chern classes by Yao, who observed that the complex projective plane blown up at two points has no collar Einstein metric and so is a counterexample. Also even when collar Einstein metric exists it need not be unique. There has been a lot of further work on the positive first Chern class case. A necessary condition for the existence of a collar Einstein metric is that the Lie algebra of holomorphic vector fields is reductive. Yao conjectured that when the first Chern class is positive, a collar variety has a collar Einstein metric if and only if it is stable in the sense of geometric invariant theory. The case of complex surfaces has been settled by Gang Tian. The complex surfaces with positive Chern class are either a product of two copies of a projective line, which obviously has a collar Einstein metric, or a blow up of the projective plane in at most eight points in general position. In the sense that number 3 lie on a line and number 6 lie on a quadric. The projective plane has a collar Einstein metric, and the projective plane blown up in one or two points does not, as the Lie algebra of holomorphic vector fields is not reductive. Tien showed that the projective plane blown up in 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or 8 points in general position has a collar Einstein metric. Topic. Outline of the proof of the Calabi conjecture Calabi transformed the Calabi conjecture into a nonlinear partial differential equation of complex Monge Ampere type, and showed that this equation has at most one solution, thus establishing the uniqueness of the required collar metric. Yao proved the Calabi conjecture by constructing a solution of this equation using the continuity method. This involves first solving an easier equation, and then showing that a solution to the easy equation can be continuously deformed to a solution of the hard equation. The hardest part of Yao's solution is proving certain a priori estimates for the derivatives of solutions. Topic. Transformation of the Calabi conjecture to a differential equation 
Suppose that M is a complex compact manifold with a collar form ω. Any other collar form in the same class is of the form ω plus d d phi. Display style ω plus d d phi. For some smooth function phi on M, unique up to addition of a constant. The Calabi conjecture is therefore equivalent to the following problem. Let f equals ef be a positive smooth function on M with average value 1. Then there is a smooth real function phi with omega plus d d phi m equals e f omega m display style omega plus d d phi caret m equals e caret f omega caret m and phi is unique up to addition of a constant. This is an equation of complex Monge Ampere type for a single function phi. It is a particularly hard partial differential equation to solve, as it is nonlinear in the terms of highest order. It is trivial to solve it when f equals zero, as phi equals zero as a solution. The idea of the continuity method is to show that it can be solved for all f by showing that the set of f for which it can be solved is both open and closed. Since the set of f for which it can be solved is non-empty, and the set of all f is connected, this shows that it can be solved for all f. The map from smooth functions to smooth functions taking phi to f defined by f equals omega plus d d phi m omega m Display style f equals omega plus d d phi caret m omega caret m is neither injective nor surjective. It is not injective because adding a constant to phi does not change f, and it is not surjective because f must be positive and have average value one. So we consider the map restricted to functions phi that are normalized to have average value zero, and ask if this map is an isomorphism onto the set of positive f equals ef with average value 1. Calabi and Yao proved that it is indeed an isomorphism. This is done in several steps, described below. Topic. Uniqueness of the solution Proving that the solution is unique involves showing that if omega plus d d phi 1 m equals omega plus d d phi 2 m Display style omega plus d d var phi underscore one caret m equals omega plus d d var phi underscore two caret m. Then phi one and phi two differ by a constant. So must be the same if they are both normalized to have average value zero. Calabi proved this by showing that the average value of d phi one minus phi 2 2 display style d var phi underscore 1 var phi underscore 2 caret 2 is given by an expression that is at most zero as it is obviously at least zero it must be zero so d phi 1 minus phi 2 equals 0 Display style d var phi underscore one var phi underscore two equals zero, which in turn forces phi one and phi two to differ by a constant. Topic: The set of f is open. Proving that the set of possible f is open in the set of smooth functions with average value 1 involves showing that if it is possible to solve the equation for some f, then it is possible to solve it for all sufficiently close f. Calabi proved this by using the implicit function theorem for Banach spaces. In order to apply this, the main step is to show that the linearization of the differential operator above is invertible. Topic. 
Topic: The set of F is closed. This is the hardest part of the proof, and was the part done by Yao. Suppose that f is in the closure of the image of possible functions phi. This means that there is a sequence of functions phi1, phi2, such that the corresponding functions f1, f2 converge to f, and the problem is to show that some subsequence of the phi s converges to a solution phi. In order to do this, Yao finds some a priori bounds for the functions phi i and their higher derivatives. In terms of the higher derivatives of log phi. Finding these bounds requires a long sequence of hard estimates, each improving slightly on the previous estimate. The bounds Yao gets are enough to show that the functions phi i all lie in a compact subset of a suitable Banach space of functions, so it is possible to find a convergent subsequence. This subsequence converges to a function phi with image f, which shows that the set of possible images f is closed. 